Shortly after turning 30, I lost a tremendous amount of weight. I went from 220 to 155, and only upon the, well, kick in the butt of my wife, I brought myself to my family physician, who immediately sent me to VGH's emergency ward, where I was diagnosed with diabetes. Type 1 diabetes is the lack of insulin production by the pancreas, leading to very high sugars in the body because there is no insulin. For unknown reasons, the pancreas is destroyed by the body's immune system. If you don't have a functioning pancreas, as is the case with type 1 diabetes, you have to try and figure out exactly what you need at all times. So that involves calculating exactly what is in the food you eat, the number of carbohydrates and proteins and fat, how much exercise you're about to do, what your blood sugar is at that time. Diabetes is not a gentle uh, disorder. Uh, it requires finger pokes. Uh, this is a lancet injected into your fingertip in order to draw blood, in order to uh, allow your glucose meter to analyze your blood sugar levels. It also requires that you place a needle within the fatty tissues of your body to inject insulin uh, throughout the day. I'm always trying to keep my blood sugar levels in between five and eight. Um, so all day long, you know, before a meal and usually after a meal, I'm pricking my finger, you know, taking that minute to do that. And then based on that, I am either taking insulin or eating some more. I was going to need to bear the burden of this disorder for the rest of my life. There was no cure uh, and the treatment was intensive. Dr. Thompson diagnosed me at age 18, 32 years ago, out at UBC when I was a student. I reconnected with Dr. Thompson 30 years later, uh, two years ago, and at that point two years ago, he did mention this study, this trial, uh, you know, whereby um, cells are going to be derived from stem cells and um, delivered in my body. All of us develop from a cell called a stem cell, which has the capacity to develop into any type of cell in the body. A beta cell is the part of the pancreas that actually makes insulin. There are seven or eight steps getting from a stem cell, which has the capacity to turn into any type of cell into the body, to a fully mature beta cell. These cells of the pancreas are then delivered to patients inside of a capsule. It's our hope that it will essentially replace the pancreas and, and release the insulin on demand just as the normal pancreas would do. If you need less insulin because you are making a little bit of your own insulin, what that does is cut down the swings in glucose levels. Now, if enough of this is made, then a person may be able to stop insulin completely. When I was initially informed that there were alternatives in play that this study might be able to provide a reprieve or even a cure uh, it was a it was an incredible mind shift it would mean that I'm not taking six to eight uh, injections a day through needle I mean sometimes you can take it through a pen I've been on two pumps it would mean that that may may be obliterated so it would certainly the biggest thing it would mean to me is that possibly I could leave a, live a much better quality life and know that perhaps I could live a little longer too.